Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at perfect competition. With that said, let's get into it. Picture a vibrant farmer's market where dozens of vendors are selling identical apples. In a perfectly competitive market, many buyers and sellers exist, and no single vendor can set the prices. That is, if a single vendor changes their prices, the market really isn't impacted. On the other hand, if a single buyer changes their willingness to pay, the market isn't really impacted either. Every individual's decisions and preferences are like a drop of water in the ocean. A market like this relies on supply and demand. Now there's three key features that you need to keep in mind about perfect competition. First, they're homogeneous products. And what this means is that the products are absolutely identical. There's no differentiation between one vendor's products and another's. Second is that there's many buyers and sellers. And particularly, no single entity, no buyer or seller can influence the market price. Finally, there's free entry and exit in this market. So firms can easily enter or exit the market and there aren't really any steep barriers to entry. To help further grasp this concept, let's take a look at a couple of real life examples of perfect competition. The first is agricultural product. So think of markets for staple crops like wheat or corn. Numerous farmers produce either identical or extremely similar products and the prices are determined by supply and demand. Next, we've got stock markets. While this might not be a perfect competition, stocks of companies can exhibit characteristics of the perfect competition where many buyers and sellers trade shares, influencing the price through collective actions, but no individual's actions bear any weight on its own. Finally, we've got something like fish markets and fresh fish markets often have multiple vendors selling the exact same type of fish, leading to competitive pricing based on availability and quality. We hope that you found this video helpful. And if you did, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel. And of course, let us know what economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next.